OK, here we go with question two. So uh, we've got a line. Uh, so obviously we're going to be using this equation. K is a constant. Um, this point lies on L, and we've got to find the value of K. So when they give us a point, they're giving us an X and a Y. So if I know this lies on L, then X and Y must work in this equation. And so to find K, I do 2 times whatever x is, sorry, 2 times whatever y is, minus 3 times x, whatever x is, so x and y are given here, minus k has to equal naught. Uh, if I substitute the numbers in here, I'll be able to get what k is by solving that equation. Okay. The gradient of L, now gradient is a trigger word, could be three methods. Is it dy by dx? doesn't look like a differentiation question. So is it the two-point method for gradient? Well, have I got two points? I've got one point. No, I haven't got another point. So, so if it's not differentiation, it's not the two-point method, it must be the y equals mx plus c method. So we need to rearrange this into the form y equals mx plus c, and then m, whatever that is, will tell us the gradient, and that will give me two marks. Then we've got the line L2 passing through A, which is that one, and perpendicular to L1, and I've got to find an equation of L2. So we're finding the equation of a line. Uh, the way we do that is with the Y minus Y1 recipe. Before you're allowed to use the Y minus Y1 recipe, you need a point, and you need a gradient. Okay. Now the point, oh, it passes through A. Hooray, we know what A is. So the point's given to us on the plate. Perpendicular to L1. Well, here was L1. Oh, look, we found the gradient of L1 in the previous part. Now we need the perpendicular gradient, so we apply the method for the perpendicular gradient to L1. So we take our answer to L1, find the perpendicular gradient, get an answer for the gradient, and then, with a point and a gradient, we can use the y minus y1 recipe. Hooray! Now the line L2 crosses the x-axis at the point B. So crosses the x-axis is another way of describing the x-intercept. And we know how to find the x-intercept. OK, y is going to equal something at the x-intercept. We've got an equation for L2. We've got a value for y. So we plug the value for y into the equation for L2, and we need to find the coordinates of B. Well, we already know the y-coordinate from there. And the x-intercept we found, by substituting that in, will be this one here. So two uh, coordinates needed for the coordinates of B. And then the exact length of AB. So we've got um, a length. That's a two-point method. Do we know the coordinates of A? Yes. Do we know the coordinates of B? Yes, we found them in D. So we've got two pairs of coordinates, and we need to get the length, which is a two-point method. So we apply our recipe to that, and we get the last two marks. Hooray!